Hello, viewers. My name is uh, Pastor Pat Ikeze. This is AF TV. You're all welcome this morning. Let us pray before we go into the Word of God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Wonderful, marvelous are the works of the Lord. Praise be thy name. Wonderful, marvelous are the works of the Lord. Praise be thy name. Wonderful, marvelous are the works of the Lord. Praise be thy name. Wonderful, marvelous are the works of the Lord. Praise be thy name. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. This is another great day, a day of rejoicing, a day of victory, a day that the Lord has made that we will continue to rejoice, a day of total liberation, a day of deliverance, a day of mighty visitation, a day that our Lord has blessed us with and we have to rejoice and give him praise because he deserves every praise and every worship, every honor, every glory belongs to our God in the name of Jesus. And so, Father, we give you praise. Ancient of days, we magnify your name. Our ocean divide, our most high God. We give you glory for another day like this. Hey, we thank you, Jehovah, from the bottom of our heart for making us to be alive in the land of the living. We return every glory unto you this hour in the name of Jesus. Father God, even in this hour, oh God of ministration, oh hallelujah, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, we welcome you. Have your way, take over, we relinquish everything into your hands that you will minister to your people, that lives will be changed, that somebody will be touched somewhere, somehow this hour. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for taking over this morning. Be that glorified in the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. The word of God in the book of Philippians chapter 4, 4. Say, rejoice in the Lord always. And I will say it again, rejoice. Are you a rejoicing Christian? Oh, are you rejoicing? It is a command. The word of God has commanded us to rejoice no matter the situation. No matter what is go you're going through. No matter what is happening. Rejoice because you know that victory is assured. Hallelujah. And the word of God said we have to rejoice always. Not just, when it's, uh, not, not just in good times. We rejoice in bad times. In every situation, God said you should rejoice. Because your victory, your deliverance is already there. Hallelujah. Because of the finished work of the cross of Calvary, you are an overcomer. You are more than conqueror. Greater is he that is in you. Just put, keep on trusting God. Keep the faith going. Keep the faith moving. Trusting God in every situation. And he will show up. And he will see you through. Just rejoice. Rejoice. What is that thing that is happening? Are you sick? Are you having problems? Are you, are you, did you lose anyone? What is going on right now? The word of God says rejoice always. Rejoice. And when you obey the word of God, you will see the mighty hand of God. In that your situation, deliverance is assured. Praise the living God. Psalm 34 verse 1. Hallelujah. He said uh, 34 verse 1. Oh my God. Psalm 34 verse 1 said, I will bless the Lord at all times. Say, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. 31 verse, Psalm 31 verse 1, I will bless the Lord at all times. And his praises shall continually be in my lips. Hallelujah. So when he, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praises shall continually be in our lips. My dear people of God, we need to praise this our God. No matter what is happening, he's the only one that has the final say over our life, over our lives. He's the only one who has solution to every problem, every situation in our lives. Only God has the problem. He has the answer. The answer is in his hands. He is the one that has the power to deliver. He is the one that has the power to set free. He is the one that has the power to heal. He is the power, has the power to make whole. Just trust this God. No matter the situation, David understood this 
secret. He said that I will bless the Lord at all times. Even when the son was pushing to kill him, he was running from it. Can you imagine a, a, a king living his kingdom, living in the cave, running from Saul, running from his son? Oh my God. He understood the secret of victory. He said that he, the praises will never, because he knew that the enemy is a liar. The enemy comes with problem in order to take the praise of God from our mouth. But he stood his ground. He said, I will bless the Lord. Hey, I will bless the Lord at all times. And he prays it shall continually be in my mouth. My dear people of God, continue to praise God. No matter what you are going through. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah is a sound of victory. Just be rest assured that victory is already there because God has promised never to leave you nor forsake you. He will be with you in time of trouble. He will see you through. He will, you will surely overcome because God is for you and not against you. Hallelujah. Let us look at the book of Acts. Hallelujah. Chapter 16. <laughs> Chapter 16, the account of Paul and Silas. Hey, Mahanda Raba Sheke. Hey, Male Kerebo Shirada Halabaha. Mali Garaba Shindarabaho. Our mighty deliverer. Hallelujah. The word of God said about midnight. Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns. Hey, and the other prisoners were listening to them. Suddenly, hey, there was a, such a violent earthquake that the foundations of the prison were shaken. At once, all the prisoner door, all the prison doors flew open, and everyone's chain came loose. Hey, the jailer woke up. Hey, and when he saw the prison door open, he drew his sword and was about to kill himself because he thought the prisoners had escaped. But Paul shouted, "Don't harm yourself!" With Hey, we are all here. The jailer called for lights, rushed in and fell, trembling before Paul and Silas. He brought, he then brought them out of and asked, Sir, what must I do to be saved? They replied, Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, and you will be saved, and you and your household. Then they spoke the word of the Lord to him and to all the others in his house. At that hour of the night, the jailer took them and washed their wounds. Then immediately he, he and all his household were baptized. The jailer brought them into his house and set a meal before them. He was filled with joy because he had come to believe in God, he and his household. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. My dear people of God, look at this account of Paul and Silas. Huh? Because they cast away the demons in, in one of the girls that, was, that, was, that had the spirit of divination, following them around, and it was so irritating. Being children of God, hallelujah, having the spirit of discernment, they were able to know that that spirit was not of God, and they cast it away from the child, ah, from the girl. And the people that were making the money out of that girl, oh, Makanda Shandaha. They were angry. They decided to stone them. They decided to flog them and brought them into jail and put them in jail. But what happened? even in that jail, because they know what God has said about rejoicing in every situation, even in that jail, they were rejoicing. The word of God had it. They were singing, hallelujah, praying, praying and singing, praising God. Oh, praising God, praising God. Huh? Hey, the word of God said about midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God. And other prisoners were listening to them. They did not even care who was listening or who was not listening. They, are, they were in prison, but their spirit was not, we are not in prison. Their spirit was with God, knowing the God that they serve, the great and awesome God, the mighty deliverer, our ocean divider, our way maker, the one that is able to do all things. They began to praise him, began to pray, singing praises, hallelujah, 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 rejoicing, hallelujah, knowing fully well that this God who has promised to, 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 to deliver them will never fail. He does not face an unfailing God, a great God that has the power. He has the ability and capability to do all things. He is God and God alone. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. What kind of jail are you in today? What kind of situation are you in today? At times we are in jail, we don't know. We can be going moving freely, but we are in jail because our minds are not tuned to God, because we don't have the Spirit of God, because we don't know Christ. Ah, today is a day of salvation. If you have not, if you don't know Christ, you will remain in your situation. But I pray today that at the end of this ministration, your life will never be the same, that you will cry unto God and Jesus will come into your house in the name of Jesus Christ. 
the word of God said that because of their singing and praying, hey, the angel visited, hey, angel of God visited in that situation. They were rejoicing. They were not murmuring. They were not nagging. They were not angry about God, with God. They were not angry with anybody, but they were focused, trusting this God. Are you trusting God in your situation? Or are you just there blaming this person, blaming that person, blaming? My dear, our core enemy is the devil. That is our real enemy. Oh my God. And they understood it. With praises, you will overcome. With prayers, you will surely overcome. That situation you are in, God is speaking today that you will surely overcome as you continue to rejoice, as you continue to praise God, as you continue to dance unto the Lord, as you continue to trust in Him and trust in Him totally, completely. Hallelujah. You are victorious. You are an overcomer. In the name of Jesus Christ, the way maker will make a way for you. That same God that made a way for Pablo and Silas, he will make a way for you, a way of escape. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Even the jailer, when the jailer woke up, hey, that earthquake from the foundation of your problem, today as you are praising God, from the foundation of your problem, that problem will be over. That problem will come to an end in the name of Jesus Christ. Then that earthquake came in. Oh, the powerful earthquake. It started shaking the foundation of the prison. The prison was shaking. The doors at once opened. Is there any door that has locked against you? Today, as you rejoice in your situation, as you rejoice, praising God, trusting God, every door that is locked will be opened by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree today the effort of anointing. There will be effort of anointing upon you that everything that has caged you today will lose you by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. You will be set free. Every chain broken. Every fit has broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory, glory, in the name of Jesus Christ. When Dijela, oh, was afraid, I thought they have escaped. Paul boldly, with confidence, said, no, we did not escape. We are still here. We are here. And Dijela immediately said, what can I do? Oh, my God. He said, Paul shouted, what shall I do? Paul replied, believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, and you will be saved, you and your household. Today, believe in the Lord Jesus Christ if you have not believed. You will surely be saved. You and your household will be saved. Just like the jailer was saved. The word of God said, when your way pleases the Lord, he will make your enemy to be at peace with you. Look at what jailer did. Look at the jailer taking them to his house, clean up their wounds. And serve them with food. Holy Karabashineha. What a great God do we serve. What a wonderful God do we serve. We serve a living God. My dear people of God, let us rejoice. In every situation, the word of God in the book of Romans chapter is so for you know that all things work out for the good of those who love the Lord and those who are called according to according to your, his purpose. No matter what the enemy has orchestrated for evil, our God is today turning it around for your own good. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Glory be to God. In the name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, Makandarabashana, Arabashendere Heruba, the book of Acts, chapter 2, verse 24. Hallelujah, glory, our way maker, our glorious God, wonderful God. Say, but God, raise him from the dead, free him from the agony of death, because it was impossible for death to keep his hold on him. Because Jesus freed God freed him from the dead. Free him from the agony of death. Because it was impossible. Hey, my dear people of God, death could not hold Jesus captive. He resurrected. He lives forevermore. Seated on the right hand side of God, making intercession on our behalf. Ah, He has given us free access to enter into his throne. Oh, boldly, with boldness, eh, through the blood of Jesus Christ. Through the blood of Jesus to obtain grace and mercy in time of need. Eh, because death could not hold him captive. No power of darkness will ever hold you bound. No enemy will ever bound you. Today, by the power in the name of Jesus Christ, you are set free. Those chains are broken. Just like the chains, feet are on the leg and hands of Paul and Silas, we are shattered. Ah, God of heaven is visiting you today. Nothing is impossible for him to do. The God of impossibility, the impossibility specialist, the one that does great and mighty things, the one that is more than able to do exceedingly, abundantly above, beyond more than we 
can think or imagine is visiting you today, is visiting you this morning, wherever you are, under the sound of my voice. Uh, ah, receive your victory, receive your deliverance, receive your healing. By the stripes of Jesus Christ, you are here because Jesus has already taken over, over everything about your life. Uh, by dying on the cross of Calvary. Oh, death could not hold him captive. No sickness will hold you back. No wickedness of the wicked will hold you back. No powers of darkness will hold you back. No enemy from the witches and wizards, whether on the occultic kingdom. Hey, you are set free. You are made whole. You are delivered. You are you are set for, you are made for you are made whole in the name of Jesus Christ. You are moving higher. No power of stagnation nation will keep you down. No enemy will keep you down. No retrogressive spirit will keep you down. Rise and fall spirit will not be your portion. You are moving forward. Forward ever, ever and backward never in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your children are set free from any power of darkness. From any power of unfriendly friends. From any evil. Your children are set free. Oh, they are for signs and wonders. They are climbing higher. Higher and higher. In the name of Jesus Christ. They are making a Mark, get into the mountain top. Hallelujah. The word of God says, Our children shall inherit the earth. Oh, hallelujah. Glory be to God. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, hallelujah. The book of Isaiah. Oh, my candaraba shindaha. Isaiah 35. Oh, hey, the God, the God that we serve is a God of a, a wonderful God. A God that encourages us. He comforts us even in time of trouble, even in our very situation, in every situation. He says, strengthen the feeble hands. Uh, steady the knees that are given away. Say to those who fear, who, who have those with full, uh, fearful hearts. Be strong, do not fear. Your God will come. He will come with vengeance, with divine retribution. He will come and save you. Hey, Yakaraba Shindaha. He is our defense city, our mighty God, our rare God, the one that has strengthened us. Are you weak in any way? Have you been defeated? Are you weak in your spirit? God said that He will strengthen you. Your hands will be strengthened. Your hands will be strengthened. You are strengthened in your innermost heart. You are strengthened in your spirit. Let the strength of God arise in you now. Don't be discouraged in any form, in any way. No spirit of discouragement. Ah, we reject it. We cancel it. In the name of Jesus Christ, our God is encouraging you today. Hey, He will stay here. He, he will put a smile on your face today. He will put smile, big smile on your face today. He will strengthen your hands. You will prosper. Whatever you lay on your hands shall prosper. Ah, my God, those knees, those weak weakness in your body, our God is giving you deliverance this hour in the name of Jesus Christ. He said, do not be afraid. Are you afraid of tomorrow? Are you afraid of losing your job? Are you afraid of losing your or losing anything? The word of God said, do not be afraid. Don't be afraid. Say, say to those with fearful heart, be strong. Do not fear. Your God will come. Oh, my Kandaraba Shanda, what are you looking for from the hands of God? My dear people of God, go to God in prayers. Go to God singing songs, trusting him, believing him. He said, do not be afraid. Have faith in God. Do not be afraid. Oh my God said, do not be afraid. Your God will surely come. Because he says it, he will do it. Because the word of God is here and the eminent settled in heaven forever. Hey, he has said it and I believe it. And that is the true thing. He will, he will surely come in your situation. He will visit you. He will come with vengeance. Ah, vengeance. Hey, those opposing spirits, those opposing demons. Those wicked things have been opposing you. Today God will terminate them by fire. They will be terminated from the source in the name of Jesus Christ because you put your hope in him. He will come and save you. He will come and defend you. He will come and deliver you. He will come and heal you. He will come and break all those powers of darkness. All those darkness covering you. The light of Jesus will come upon you and overshadow every dark area in your life and you will be free and you will move on and move forward in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We serve a living God. We serve a faithful God. We serve a dependable God. Awesome God. Glory be to God. That same God that delivered Paul and Silas, he's your God. He's your God. He's no respect of any man. As you put your trust in him, as you sing and believe and trust him, as you worship him, as you pray and call upon his name, he will show off in a mighty way. He's a great God. He's a mighty God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
the jailer said, what shall I do? My God, God will give you a testimony that will make somebody near you, your neighbors, to give their lives to Jesus. Oh, Karima Shinda. He said, believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved, you and your household. Today, I make a declaration that there will be a star testimony. Hey, Jehovah, we give you that wonderful testimony that will make your neighbor, that will make your friends ah, to give their lives to Jesus. To give their lives to Jesus. That wonderful testimony only God can give. It will come to you today. And you will have that testimony. And you will share your testimony. And people will believe. And they will believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. They, not just them. Even them and their household. They will all be saved to the glory of God. In the name of Jesus. Our God said he will come. He will definitely come. He will visit you today. He will change that story. He will rewrite your name. He is great. He is wonderful God. All those evil ordinances of the enemy that have been written against you, the blood of Jesus are blotting them out now. They are blotting them out now. Hallelujah. All those spirits of confusion, all those darkness, whatever that have covered you today, you are being set free. You are being loosened from those chains ah, that held you bound. Those chains that held you bound not to move to your next level. Today, I speak to somebody, you are moving to your next level. I can see you moving to your next level. I can see you celebrating. I can see you rejoicing. I can see you dancing a, a, a new dance, a new song, singing a new song unto the Lord because our God is able. He is great. He is wonderful. He is marvelous, trustworthy. Hallelujah. Glory be to God in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. My dear people of God, today the word of God says, when you hear the word of God, do not harden your heart. How you've heard the word of God. You have seen what God did in the life of Paul and Silas when the enemy put them in prison. You have seen the marvelous, the miraculous release. So that shall be your portion. Uh, what are you waiting for? Come to Jesus. If you have not received Jesus, this is a, a great opportunity to come to Jesus and experience that miraculous release from every bondage of your, of your enemy. No matter what, even if it's ancestral demon, even if it's territorial demon, whatever power that is holding you bound, that say you will not move to your next level, that you will not progress, that you will not make it in this lifetime. Oh, my hand, this is the appointed time for you to surrender your life to Jesus. Surrender your life to Jesus. Surrender your life. Whatever it may cost you right now, live whatever. That it doesn't cost nothing. Just come to here and just open up your mouth and your mind and your spirit and say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Forgive me all my sins. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. Change my name. Write my name in the last book of life. Remove my name in the book of death and change my name in the last book of life. I accept Jesus as my Lord and Savior. Fill me up with your Holy Spirit. Give me your anointing to move forward in the name of Jesus Christ. And God will, have, will answer you as you call upon him. Hallelujah. The word of God says, believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. You and your household will be saved. And today, because you have confessed Jesus, you are saved. You are saved. You will receive deliverance. Everything that Jesus has God given to us, but just for us on the cross of Calvary, belongs to you. Hallelujah. You're a child of the Most High God in the name of Jesus Christ. And so, Father, we give you praise. <laughs> Eternal rock of ages, the miracle working God. Our good God, our loving Father, our faithful and dependable Master. Ha, Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Jehovah, this hour that your word has gone forth, Lord. Find as many as we watch this, oh God, we receive their deliverance this hour in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, touch somebody, Lord. Touch somebody, touch somebody, release somebody from that operation of the wicked. Oh my God, set that person free. That person that is sick. Oh my God, that terminal sickness is terminated today in the name of Jesus. You are receiving your freedom. You are receiving your freedom from sickness. It doesn't matter what the doctor has told you. It's only God. God has the final say over your life. And that God said that said has the final say. He said that by his strength, by the strength of Jesus Christ, that you have been made whole, that he has sent forth your word in your life, and your sword delivered you from every destruction of the enemy. You will never be destroyed. The enemy has no hold in your hand. Every stronghold of the enemy broken today in the name of Jesus Christ. You are walking in deliverance, you're walking in victory. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Whatever that situation may be, our 
our God is able. There is nothing what God cannot do. He's the God of all flesh. Is there anything difficult for our God? Today, God is visiting you. God is visiting your family. God is changing your story. God is turning everything around. The turn around God is visiting you. Thank you, Abba Father, for hearing us today. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. You are faithful indeed. You are awesome. Be that magnified and glorified forever. For in Jesus' mighty name, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory, glory. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Amen.